Hello and welcome to Crafting with Ty and Friends. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change the colors on an SVG. We will be using my newly made SVG. I created this SVG to help raise money for my daughter's braces. I will be creating shirts and other items with the SVG we use today here. I will also be loading the SVG onto my site. The link you can find below in the description to purchase. So let's begin. You want to upload and you want to upload your image into Design Space. And of course, you click upload. You will browse for your image and then you will save it onto your Design Space. Now, once you upload it, you want to get. Um, Bring it into your canvas and you want to click select it and then you will know it's selected by it showing up here. Then you can uh, click insert image. And you wait. Now once she's loaded into your mat, you can begin to change the colors of certain items. And the way to do that is over here in your layers panel so if you click the braces your layer attribute should, um, should pull up and you can change the colors here so you can select any color here and it will show up on your canvas we can change the skirt and the shoes to a different color You can also change the backpack. Any color you you want, you can any item you want and change the colors to, you can change. You can change the skin tone. But just remember when using this as a SVG as a cutout so it'll be cut with your vinyl or your HTV. It doesn't matter what shows here because whatever you lay on your mat that's what will cut so if you have brown on your mat for this black part it's going to cut out brown so it will not be black but if you are using this as a print then cut anything that shows here will be printed so if you had green eyes it's going to print green eyes we can change the shirts and the socks so if we ungroup, it will show you how it will cut on your mat. So you'll get these cuts, the teeth and the eyes, skin. And if you was to send it to your mat, It cuts in place. So if you was layering it as a um, as an SVG, if you was layering it on a shirt or something, it cuts in place. So it's easier for you to layer it. Even if you were using it as vinyl and layering it on a cup, a window, etc. back together so now if I was if I wanted to take this and use it as a print to cut oh, I will click it click over here to make my layer attribute panel pull up once again and then I will actually put print so where she's at I will have to go change all of these to print and 
If you don't choose print, it will not print. It will be a cut. So when you when you take it over to your mat, it will not be on the print, but it will be as a cut. I'll show you guys exactly how that looks. So I'm not going to um, put the black outline to a print yet. I'm going to leave it as a cut. And I'm going to go here, choose this, and I want to choose flatten. And the reason why I choose flatten is so I can flat every layer on top of each other. If you don't, then it will not print out like that. So I'm going to show you how it prints flatten, and then I'll show you guys how it prints not flat. So we're going to go to make. And as you see, everything is together, ready to print. So it will print, and then it will come back, and it will cut all around here and even the inside of the legs. So let's go back without flatten. We're going to undo, and we're going to make. So remember, I didn't change the black to a uh, print. So when you don't push flatten, it'll print out every layer, but it's not printing it together because you didn't flatten the layers together. So it'll still print and cut out these layers, but they're not together. And see, the black is not being printed at all. It's, it's cut. So you must change every layer to a print, and then you must flatten the layers together for them to print as one. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna change to print. And then we're gonna click and flatten. And now she's ready to be printed. And you can always come back and change the color, change the skin tone, um, whatever you wanna do, change the braces, change the backpack, add words. But you always want to make sure you flatten your project if you are printing then. And remember that the print to cut field is 6.75 by 9.25. So you can't go over those measurements to be able to print and cut on the Cricut. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, tell a friend.